All right, folks, here we have my kind of, sort of unboxing. Uh, and I say that because I actually just did an unboxing of this, but I fucked up the angle and I was like, the whole thing was like this out of the frame. So, but who cares? All you're, you're going to miss this time is me taking the actual plastic off. The whole point of unboxings, in my opinion, is to show you up close and personal what it's what's inside. So this is uh, Aero Video US release of the Hills Have Eyes limited edition Blu-ray. Um, oh, I love how these new things smell. Um, I think this was a US only release and not in the UK. Sorry to my blokes across the pond. Um, but yeah, so here we go. This is one of those really nice ones that's kind of like deep red where it's it's kind of like double the width of a normal case, but it's not like obscenely big. And it's got like a nice sort of non-glossy matte finish. But uh, there you go, typical back of the case with no photos. That's just how they do it in the UK. Um, so let's start this way. Here we have a really nice booklet. Um, like one of those perfect bound thingamabobs where it's got really thick, heavy paper stock. Hello, Michael Berryman, we love you. You're so funny looking, but it's all right. Um, so, again, this is a non-glossy matte finish, so don't have to worry about your fingerprints smudging it up. And, um, fucking A, that smells good. I'm such a weirdo, I love how this shit smells. Um, so, your typical, you know, mixture of articles, um, new article, uh, yeah... Pretty nice. Let me see, how many pages is this? 36 pages. So that's pretty pretty substantial. And then we have ourselves a fold-out poster. Um, Two-sided. The first side is the same thing as the Blu-ray box. And then this is the original artwork. So that's pretty fucking cool. Um, it's always a bit of a bummer when you have these nice posters that are folded up so many times. You get all those creases. I wish they... I mean, not like I expect them to ship it in a roll or two, but that would be nice. Last but not least, we have the actual case, which is... I'm pretty sure this is what... The only thing that's going to be available once the original pressing of this limited edition sells out. Typical clear arrow case. But what's pretty sweet and may not come in the uh, normal set is these postcards from various countries. You got, I believe that's Japanese, some Spanish language of some variety, Hugo der Blücken Augen, which would be German, some more Spanish. Sorry, I don't have the country. I'm being very uh, un-PC, apparently. Um, this would be French and Italian. Whoa, gun in the mouth. Okay. And uh, yeah, you've got your typical awesome arrow reverse sleeve with the original art. Um, you know, typically with arrow releases, I prefer the newly commissioned artwork, so I'd keep it like this. But in this case, where it's kind of like with Shout Factory, where they give you the cardboard slip case, which has the newly commissioned art, and then on the reversible art, they've got the choice of the new art and the old art. I, um, whoops. I, with them, I like to flip it so that it's displaying the original art in the plastic case like this because I'm going to end up putting it in this case, which is the new art. So, a little variety there. But, um, so this is pretty awesome. I was psyched to get this. I just opened it even though I've had it for a couple months. And I've never seen this movie. That's pretty pathetic. Seeing as though I'm 39 years old and I like horror a lot. I actually love horror now. I kind of didn't used to really be a huge fan of horror. I liked highly polished modern horror. I, I was just like a nerd. I, not a nerd. I was I was anal about um, production value. I liked my horror to be like s fancy and s whatever, shiny and brand new, but now I'm really appreciating some of the older stuff. So uh, I look forward to checking this one out. And that's my kind of sort of unboxing of the hills. Oh yeah, crapped in my pants once. It was brown and smelly. Ew.